How to calculate annual CFAT or cash flows in Excel spreadsheet? We will learn in this video. So let's get started. All right. Here we have a questions. In this questions, we can see that we have a you know five years income income statement represented by this table. Okay. And in this table, we have a you know gross profit value, EBITDA, EBIT or NOI, EBT and EAT. Okay, EBITDA that is EBITDA stands for Earning Before Interest Tax Depreciation and Amortization. Well, EBIT stands for Earning Before Interest Interest and Tax or NOI that is Net Operating Income, and EBT stands for Earning Before Tax and EAT stands for earning after tax which is also known as net income you can write here okay now based on these questions let's calculate the annual CFAT that is stands for cash flows after tax okay here we can see that we have two steps to compute the annual CFAT okay in the first step you can see that this is nothing but it's a question part okay so based on this available information let's calculate the you know annual CFAT okay all right so here we can see that to calculate the CFAT we have to follow this step okay now let's follow each step of CFAT okay so for this we have to put the value of EBIT from the available information that is from this income statement okay so let's calculate it so press the equal to sign and now let's identify the EBIT value which is this one so click here and now press the enter key now click here and drag from here to here okay now let's calculate the tax amount at the rate of 25 percent you can see here okay based on this value okay so let's calculate it so press the equal to sign click here times put the tax percentage in a fraction mode so we have a 25 percent so i'm going to type 0.25 okay now press the enter key now click here and now click here and drag from here to here all right now let's calculate the EAT and it can be calculated by subtracting the tax amount from the EBIT okay so press the equal to sign now click this one minus this one now press the enter key now click here and drag from here to here okay now let's put the value of depreciation and amortization depreciation and amortization is our you know non cash expenditures okay in nature so let's identify the value for this item from the income statement and put here okay so press the equal to sign and now let's identify here what is the value of depreciation and amortization here you can see here so click this one and I'll press the enter key all right now click here and drag from here to here now in order to get the annual CFAT we have to add these two value okay so press the equal to sign now click this one plus this one now press the enter key now click here and drag from here to here all right okay so we got it now let me tell you one thing Actually, the process of calculating the annual CFAT is this one, okay? But uh, in this, uh, you know, questions, we can see that we have, uh, you know, very few steps to calculate this one because we have already a uh, lots of information, okay, in the income statement. We just, you know, bring the information from the income statement and put here, okay, to calculate the CFAT, okay? But uh, in some other questions, we have to calculate you know the depreciation or amortization amount interest amount tax amount separately and prepare the income statement and then finally we can calculate annual CFAT okay so in this video based on these questions so guys it's a very easy to calculate it okay that's all for now thanks for watching this video if you find it useful please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and if you have any queries regarding this video please ask me in the comment box below See you in the next video, signing off.